All right, so just want to just start off with a uh, quick little lesson for area of a parallelogram. Um, you can easily find this in uh, Griffith's electromagnetism book, um, any of the additions at the very beginning, where he talks about how you can take any two vectors and the cross product between them is the area of the parallelogram. Um, the, I'm sorry, the cross product and then the magnitude of the resulting uh, vector. So to do that, we have four points. So we could connect this point to this point, and we can call that vector u. And then we can connect this point and this point, and we can call that vector v. Because remember, a vector is simply a connection between two points. So um, what I did starting out here is basically we'll say u is 6 minus 3 in the x direction and the little hat just represents direction and we get that from looking at here we go 6 minus 3 um, is the x coordinate of u and then 5 minus negative 4 is the y coordinate and then that ends up being um, 3 in the x hat direction plus 9 in the y hat for u. Um, and I should just denote this with the little vector symbol. Sorry. Um, and then I'll just put the vector symbol above here as well. Um, you can do it with either notation. I mean, after you do vectors for a long time, you usually just end up drawing a line above it. Um, so for V, same concept. Um, we look at our X coordinates, negative six minus negative nine in the X hat. And then that's just ends up being nine minus six, which is three X hat and then negative 6 minus negative 15, which is 15 minus 6, and yeah, that's going to be 9 in the y hat. So we, eat, we have identical vectors. So when you are doing a cross product with vectors, um, what you can do is you can actually just multiply these out. So you can literally just go uh, 3, it's going to be 3 x hat plus 9y hat cross 3x hat plus 9y hat. All right. When we do that, um, we'll get 9x hat cross x hat. Um, plus, uh, let's see here, um, 27 x hat cross y hat plus, uh, or times two because there's two of those, right? We're doing, um, x hat cross y hat and then or let's just, let's just, I'll just write this out. Sorry about that. So, because I just need to show you something. Um, plus 27 times y hat cross x hat for the other one. Because you're taking, you're taking this guy and then you're, you're taking this guy and crossing with the x hat for this one. And that, that's a different form, and you'll see what I'm talking about later. Um, and then we're going to add uh, 81 y hat cross y hat. All right. When you do this, any, any vector crossed with any vector dotted on itself, um, remember the dot product where you have x hat dot x hat? Remember, the dot product is projection. So if you have, for instance, this vector crossed with this one, the projection is how much of its shadow is on the vector. That's what the dot product is. So when you have a vector literally x dotted over itself, it's completely projected onto itself. So that just ends up being 1. But when you have a cross product, of the same unit vectors, this will always be zero, okay? Because cross product has to do with how much you're usually using it in rotation. I know I said it's the area of a parallelogram, 
Um, but that's pretty much just one way you can look at it. Another way you can look at it is the resulting vector between the two terms interacting with each other. Okay, so essentially if we ha if this is if this is true, which it is, um, and you can do some Griffith, Griffith's ENM problems if you don't believe me, uh, cross these out because nine times zero is zero, 81 times zero is zero, and then we have this guy. So now we have 27, and if you do the right-hand rule, the right-hand rule basically says X cross Y is in the Z hat. So this is in the Z hat direction, and then this is plus 27 y cross x is in the negative z hat direction. That's the right hand rule. So we're going to say negative z hat. Okay. So essentially, if these vectors are overlapping each other, will there be any area in the par parallelogram? Well, it I it sure doesn't seem so because if this is basically the same thing as doing this this is the same thing as taking uh, 27 minus 27 all in the z hat direction so your resulting vector which we which is going to be we just did u cross v is equal to zero. And if the resulting vector is zero, um, what do we have? The area of the parallelogram is going to be equal to zero. And that's your answer.